GoGriffins.com, powered by Spine and Sport Physical Therapy. Train like the pros, my friends. You can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God, I cut you down. Tell them that God's going to cut you down. Week two, Missouri Western taking a break from MIAA play and taking on William Jewell College. This is the general. It's the touchdown cannon, and it got a lot of work Saturday. This game was like watching someone play rookie mode on Madden. First quarter, Griffin's first possession, second play from scrimmage. Mike Hill is gone. Untouched, 52 yards into the end zone. 7 0 Griffs after 48 seconds of play. Oh boy. A couple minutes later, they're in the red zone. Travis Partridge to Reggie Jordan from 11 yards out. Touchdown, shots fired. Jewel, though, trying to answer in the first, near the goal line and threatening, but the Griffins' Mark Harrison forces the fumble. Nick Williams recovers, and that's as close as the Cardinals would get to the end zone the rest of the night. Second quarter historical moment. Senior David Bass, career sack number 31. This one makes him the program's all-time sack leader. When you come in, you're looking at the record books, you like, you're starting off at zero, and then, matter of fact, I would say my freshman, I probably didn't even look at it. As a sophomore, I'm like, who would ever uh, be able to take the records that's already set? I'm thinking, like, well, I'm going to do my best right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to break the record, but it feels great to have a record. I've been here long enough, so. Meanwhile, Griffin's still punishing Jewel from the ground. Dom Thomas shot out of a cannon himself. 26 yards to pay dirt, now 21 nothing. Griffin's had 398 yards rushing on the day and it didn't matter who touched it. Case in point, Raphael Spencer. This is his first career collegiate carry. It felt good, I mean, it's, uh, I've been waiting for it for a long time and uh, I just want to thank my lineman for it. Griffin's go up 35 to nothing at halftime and the cannon literally did run out of ammo this week. We're actually going to have to go and get more propane at, uh, at halftime. Third quarter, the video game continues. Griffin's deep in their own territory. But it's Mike Hill again, gets a block, gives a stiff arm, and then goodbye. This is going to be a 92-yard touchdown run, the longest of his career. Hill with 14 carries for 210 yards rushing. He's just 217 away from becoming Western's all-time rushing leader. The Griffins put up 539 yards of total offense, and they shut out William Jewell. 56 to nothing the final, but there was a loss in the win. Senior offensive lineman Brian Childs left the game with an injured knee, and that takes some shine off the performance. They competed well, they tackled well. The only thing is just the injury situation not go good. I think Brian Childs hurt, and uh, we certainly were losing for a few weeks, you know, and we hope not the worst. I think the MCL is hurt. Uh, we're hoping the ACL is not. So it puts a little bit of a damper on it. Uh, but you know, we did what we we're supposed to do. We ran the ball effectively. Uh, we, keep, we got a shutout. Anytime we get a shutout, that's good. We played a lot of kids. And, and that's positive. I think we came out and did what we want to do. We want to run the ball. I think we ran, ran the ball very well and uh, did the game plan. I think we did pretty well. I mean, uh, guys were downfield blocking. We didn't pass the ball much, but um, we were up quite a bit. So, I mean, when you're up, you, you run the ball, and that's what we did. 